Well, hello everyone. My name's Evan. I perform under the stage name Blue Mally. Um, it's good to be here. Um, basically, just to set the scene, this is um, I'm in the city in Sydney, um, in a studio um, called Alive Productions, and this is my first live stream. Um, and basically today, um, I'll be playing a swag of songs for you, um, having a special guest later on, and yeah. Um, sit back and enjoy this show. Um, the first song is called Alice. Um, it's a pretty important song for me because I've been doing this for about a year and a half now um, and Blue Mally basically appears in the lyrics for this song. Um, it was from when I went um, a few years ago to Alice Springs and I had two different experiences. One which was really kind of heavy and chaotic and then when I came back about a week later it was really calm and I was in the Alice Springs Desert Park and I saw this type of eucalypt tree called Blue Mallee and I really liked the look of it I thought it was a really cool name um, and Mallee basically means multi-stemmed the juvenile foliage basically grows in multiple directions and I thought that was a good kind of reflection of my music being quite diverse and yeah I wasn't, when I wrote the sort of words when I was in Alice Springs, I wasn't planning to write a song. I just wanted to capture the moment. Um, and then when I came back to Sydney, I came up this, with this um, guitar sort of tune and the words fell off the page. So it's pretty honest um, and it's kind of very mood driven and sort of transports me back to when I was in Alice Springs. So I hope it transports you during these hard times during the COVID lockdown. Live streaming might be the new norm for live music. so. Um, any musicians out there, I recommend you give it a go. Um, and yeah, let's get amongst it. All right, so this song's called Alice. Hope you enjoy it. Awakening the caterpillar from its dreams Pulling up the red dawn dizzy Blood dirt underpinning Another uncertainty With a deep restful silence Blue Mally Are you basking in the warm sun Or are you rustling your leaves Like all those ghost gums up on the gentle west ranges I do love Are you blowing up a dust storm alley? Are you blowing up? Are you blowing up? Are you blowing up a dust storm alley? Does it all Won't you reach for me, Desert O? Won't you drink from me? Storm Alice, I 
Hiding the tracks I cannot see Holding up an overworn headache Trucks pounding parallels at a necessity True Todd River flows through me A robbery Well, this is your country Rustle your leaves, not so gently. Dry winds tonight, yeah. spirits in harmony. Yeah. Are you blowing up a dust storm, Alice? Are you blowing up? Are you blowing up? Are you blowing up a dust storm, Alice? Desert, oh, desert, oh. There you go. Um, so that's the first song, amongst others, coming. Um, so what has everyone been up to lately during lockdown? For me, I've been doing a lot of thinking. Um, sorry, I just dropped my pick. A lot of gardening, a lot of tea drinking. Um, and, you know, I'm a firm believer of looking at the positives and negatives for crazy times like this. And for musicians, at least for me, this lockdown's been all about writing songs. It's been growing. And at the end of um, this live stream, I'll play one song that I came up with last week. So it's fresh as daisies. But um, before I do that, um, I'm going to play another song called Never Really Coming Back. And the thing about this song is um, I received a gr live music grant um, just over a year ago. Um, through the Inner West Council and to basically record my first sort of debut CD. <clears throat> and basically the sort of prognosis is I had to basically record in a local Inner West LGA studio. So I finally got my act together. Obviously COVID's closed a lot of studios, but they're opening again now. And um, I went in there last week actually um, and worked with a producer called Tim Carr who you, some of you might know, he's ARI Award winning with Matt Corby, I think, um, at One Flight Up Studios. So I was in there last week and um, I've kind of decided, because I write a lot of songs, I decided to, rather than pick the songs that I wanted to record in the CD, I basically would throw uh, whichever producer, um, say five, one producer I sent 20, sorry Nick, um, to, and basically told them to pick a song that they really liked so that they liked the song and I liked the song. The thing that I didn't realise is the songs that I wanted to record weren't the songs that they wanted to record. So it's been a surprising sort of process. And this was the one that Tim picked out and he described the song as a challenge to record. And when I sort of asked him to describe what it sounded like um, to him, it was a really interesting response. He basically said it was a cross between a cowboy western cinema and Black Rebel Motorcycle Club, which is like a English garage rock band. And I went, well, that's pretty freaking cool. So um, anyway, I'll play it for you now because I'm sure you're intrigued. And um, yeah, this song's called Never Really Coming Back.
swimming in the rain But don't let a candle open your face To another feature She's never really coming back for you Yeah, you were never really coming back Secret agent, you pull the pin. You decipher the motivated language you're in. Yeah. And now you're screwing around and pulling this back apart. Do I really want to hang out with someone that rides on my lap? Yeah. Do I really want to hang out with someone that's a passenger? Say your size, say your size, say your size on those moonlit seas tonight. I'm so sick and tired of being a trophy on your wall And now you're all running from this sinking ship It's probably better this way, I don't miss this It's probably better this way, you could keep the distance So don't let her fool you with a twisted gag don't let the tide turn swimming in the rain Don't let a candle open your face to another feature She's never really coming back for you You were never really coming back for you For you Say your side Say your size, say your size on those moonlit seas tonight. There you go. Whew. It's pretty hot up here. Um, so how is everyone going? Let me have a look at these comments. I've never done this, but there's like a little um, iPad in front of me where I can see all your comments. Um, how are you going, everybody? For him. Daddy Macintosh. Nikki. Welcome aboard. Um, so what's everyone been doing during the lockdown? Feel free to post any comments um, while you're thinking about that. Um, I'll start working on the next song. Um, what can I say about this song? It's similar to the first one. Um, it's called How Stat. Um, I wrote this one during the lockdown. Um, How Stat is in Austria. And... Um, I was in a hell of a, a state. I think I had some kind of virus. Um, my back was completely screwed and um, I was kind of really kind of suspicious that someone was out to get me. And then I was, I traveled by train from Salzburg to um, a place called Obertron, which is just over um, this lake. 
and on the other side is Hausstadt, um, beautiful, very picturesque. And I basically, and it's all on a mountain up a hill. So that was a killer with this gigantic backpack. And um, yeah, I wrote this song stuck in the bed. I spent the two days that I had there basically bed bound. I never really got to house stat, um, but it was just really a beautiful time. Basically knocked out, um, feeling really weak and stuff, but um, wrote these words on the page um, and wrote the music when I got back to Sydney. Um, and a friend of mine said it's one of his favourite songs because it's just really honest. Um, yeah, so anyway, this song's called How's That?
Especially at the lowest light, the quietest peacefulness that I would only expect on my final rest. There you go. <clears throat> so, the next song I'm going to play. Um, oh, I should probably look at the stream again. Has there been any activity? Well, hello, Cuff family. How are you going? Kevin, good to see you, mate. Oh, I can't see you, but yeah, thanks for tuning in. <laughs> so the next song I'm going to play is a cover. Um, so one of my, um, well... In terms of like local musicians, singer, fellow singer-songwriters, um, John Butler, Liz Stringer, um, are big influences for me. Um, but there's also this guy called Paul Green. He's a singer-songwriter on the south coast around Nowra. <clears throat> and when I was younger, I would used to go down to my local pub, the Glebe Excelsior, and see him play. And he was a really nice bloke. And he wrote this song called Jervis Bay. Um, and this is like an original take on his song, um, again, named after a place, a running theme, Jervis Bay down the south coast. My one's on Capo 10, um, so it's a bit crazy. I don't have many songs. Is that 10? Yeah, it's 10. Cool. I don't have many songs on 10th Capo. What possessed me to put it on the 10th Capo? I have no idea. Good question. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoy it. It's really um, happy-go-lucky, stuff like that. Seagulls play. There's something on my mind. You know, you got the time when I can sit for a while while you calm me down. Well, some people love music, and others drink the wine. Maybe lean on a friend or just leave their own the time. There is the sound of the sea, the cliffs at Murray's Beach, or I can sit for If life takes you that way When I close my eyes I drift back to shores of Jervis Bay No matter where I go now I still call this my home Such a precious
leave their own time. But it's the sound of the sea and the cliffs at Murray's Beach, where I can sit for a while and I feel, and I feel. Well, hello there, Nick Cox. Thanks for tuning in. And I hope you are enjoying the show. Um, so, yeah, I kind of feel like this is like, just to explain this, I'm in this tiny little space, this room, and I've got about three or four cameras looking at me. I've got screens everywhere, almost like I'm in a room full of mirrors, and it's pretty hot. Um, and I haven't done a gig since the beginning of February, so this is just like a bit of a step up after a six-month layoff. Um, but it's great. It's a great opportunity that a live production is putting this on for me. Um, it's really professional. And um, thanks very much. So I better get the um, old harmonica out again. Um, this next song is all, in all likelihood going to be on the next CD as well. Why? Because one of the producers picked it, so that's good. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm really glad they picked this one, actually, because this is um, this is a bit of a country one. Um, it's really cool, and it's basically it's called Rocks and Cattle. It's about the Australian landscape, about bushfires, about drought, um, and yeah, you can sort of see a running theme with some of these songs which will probably end up on the same CD. So I really hope you're enjoying the songs. And I hope you like harmonica. <laughs> Um, I got this gigantic pedal, so that's why there's a slight delay. I'm, there's all sorts of pedal configurations for every song. I'm just really making my life difficult, but it is all worthwhile at the end of the day. All right. Rocks and cattle, here we go. Work the land, work the land, work the land and grow. It will pay, it will pay, it will pay you back. People said, people said, people said you were a dry river bed. Faded pages, mom is dead and not worth the Faded pages, numbers, data, not turning
Like an unstoppable storm unleashing its rain When the spark there is fire Could we let our fences down? Where the smoke there is fire And could we do with it now? Guess, guess it's all we got But I sure won't be putting your fires out In the desert blood of basking in the sun Have you been amongst the rocks and cattle When the day is nearly done There you go. Um, thanks for him. Very good. <laughs> um, for him, if anyone's watching, he used to be in my first ever band. It used to be called Equal Zero. Um, and the first time I ever went on stage was with for him. And it was good times. I should have actually prepared to play a song um, that we used to play, but uh, well, maybe next time. Um, so this is a bit like being on Rockwiz. I don't know if anyone's seen Rockwiz before. It used to be a, oops, um, a bit of a, what do you call it? A bit of a um, TV kind of music sort of program where people would often be asked what their first um, album that they ever owned was and what's their first gig they ever went to. So I'm going to take this opportunity to pretend I'm on Rockwiz right now. And um, the first album I ever owned... Um, it was actually my Uncle Peter bought it for me um, when he was in Australia visiting from England and he got me Look Sharp by Roxette, which is still my favourite album ever. I love Roxette. And my first live concert I ever went to is probably, um, it was an annual thing at the State Theatre. Um, I think it was called the Guinness Concert and it basically had up-and-coming and, and well-known Irish musicians um, performing there um, one night only kind of thing and that was really cool because there was real diversity you didn't necessarily know who was on the bill and it was just yeah good fun or good crack as they would say um, so um, the next song I'm gonna play is a song called In Another Land um, this is a bit of an old song so that kind of breaks the um, sort of set list up with songs that I've just come up with recently but um, it's a song that I've played um, at previous gigs and often people come up to me and go, we're going to get a copy of that song and I'll be like, uh, look, I can do a phone recording for you if you want and send it to you, but it's not on Spotify or anything, so um, hopefully I do a decent job and then I can send it to these people that keep asking to hear it. Um, yeah, so without further ado, I'll just have a quick sip of tea. I'll play In Another Land. And then um, we're getting probably going to have a very quick five-minute break and then come back with the special guest, I think. Was that the plan? Guest audience? <laughs> All right. Well, I 
needs Spotify. Eh? Um, I'm just going to take a very quick break, quick break as in probably no more than five minutes, um, just for the sort of second half of the show. Um, and yeah, sit tight and I'll be back in two swigs of a lamb's tail.
<laughs> Welcome back to the second half of this matinee. And look who's here. It's Hi. Nikki. Good morning or good evening. Yeah, depending depends on where you in the world, world you are. Um, she is. So we started up a tea club. Mm. I've got the St. Albans Folk Festival mug, um, which I'll talk about in a second because it's got something to do with the next song. But let me just ask Nikki the uh, rock quiz question. What's the um, what's your first album that you've ever owned? The first album I remember buying, or I think my dad bought it for me, was really embarrassing. It was New Kids on the Block and it was a cassette. But I think I can redeem myself because the first album I remember loving, which I think is an important question, mm. um, I remember when I was about five dancing to um, Boy George and the Culture Club's Karma Chameleon in my lounge room. It was in mum and dad's record collection did. and I loved, loved it. <laughs> um, so I, I could kind of say that was my first loved album. Um, and my first concert was really cool. My friend Em turned 18 and her parents bought her tickets to Alanis Morissette and she invited me along to go with her as her plus one. You um, ought to know. I know. We so loved Alanis <laughs> and Garbage was supporting. Yep. And Flea from the Red Hot Chili Peppers was in Alanis's band. So. Or Star Band. Yeah, I know. It was really impressive. And to this day... I'm forever grateful to Em for taking me with her. <laughs> but um, we're going to play another song, aren't we? Yeah. Um, so this song is called um, Tales from the Settler's Tavern. Mm -hmm. um, and the name came from the Settler's Inn, which is a convict-built, um, I guess, pub or inn in mm -hmm. St Albans in New South Wales, hence the mug. Um, and basically, it wasn't my idea, but um, a friend of mine, part of her job was being a guide at the, um, what was it called? Hi, the Park High Park Barracks. Barracks. Hi, Amy. <laughs> yeah, and she said, well, I've got a shitload of notes because I'm a guide. Why don't you write a song about convicts? So, and, oh, God, and I got given, like, a stack this high of notes. So I learned all about convicts and tried to piece together a song. Um, and this is what we came up with. Hope you enjoy it. And what can I say about this? Oh. How are you going, Kate? How are you going? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Life never turns out how you plan. I have drawn the devil's hand to, to bread feed my family And a policeman wound up my door I never really stood a chance Was a crime or circumstance Still there, sending me to Sydney To the colony of New South Wales How long have I been stuck in this harsh place Seems like forever since I have last seen your Since I've seen a free young day, a free 
Northern boy not giving a glance Whip was eleven was scaling the fence Now one eye on the cat of nines Brought up a convict without committing no crime Fought in the ditch from the day you were born Fought in the ditch when your loved ones are torn Fought in the ditch from the whipping lord He'll make you scream out to the Lord. Savage outposts where we were held against our will. Oh, you never get me alive. Oh, no. Oh, how long have I been sentenced? like my mum's tuned in um now it's probably I good think my mum's tuned in too yeah so in the lockdown I, I actually made marmalade for the first time and my first word words when I was a baby was um marmalade and you can kind of imagine the shock of my mum's face when I went mama and then I went lead <laughs> <laughs> cooking marmalade takes all day but I think it's worth it. It's really good. Yeah, especially, especially if you put on something like, like it's um, absolutely pouring in Sydney at the some moment. Fireball whiskey in there. Yeah, we put a bit of that in there as well. Some grey you know. mania mm. oranges. Yeah, we put a bit of that in there yeah. as well. Um, I think it's it Scottish whiskey Scottish as well. Whiskey. It all boils off. It's just for the flavour, really. Mm. So, what song are we going to do next? Uh, this next song is called "Take Me Somewhere Into mm. the Wind." It's another new song that I wrote during the lockdown. It's a bit like a lullaby and it needs harmonica. Sorry about that. Mm. Oh yeah, so this is uh, when you can hear. Oh yeah. So we came into the studio today and the first thing that caught my eye was this beautiful um, sprig of Blue Melly. So it smells divine, um, eucalyptus, and it was what inspired um, Evan to to take this name. Sorry, just looking at pedal configurations. I, know. <laughs> I actually think this song reminds me of Into the Wild, which is yeah, we've got one books of your favourite books. Like, we've been waiting all day, so we decided to read books mm. at Soundcheck at like mm. uh, some ridiculous hour. No, not really. <laughs> it was like 3pm, but yeah. <laughs> I know, and missing travelling as well. I see New Zealand, South Island, mm. and it's such a beautiful place. Yeah, so... This song is called Take You Somewhere Into the Wind. Hang on. All right, let's go. Take me somewhere into the wind. Turn the page inside your head. But in your lips, your words are rambling and ruining the moment when we almost just got here. Take me somewhere into the wind. Come 
Spill it out, ebb in your hands. Will the tide move again? Will it be my friend when we almost just got Where's for who? Yes, I'm believing. Side track, cool breath, even. So let the stars fracture black sky again. Like some cheesy fungus type of mold outdated. And you have carried the way of the world in your head, yeah. Like a curling super jet chasing its tail. An unfinished song, drop your opinions And take me somewhere into the wind Slowly turning again when we almost just got here And take me somewhere into the wind Where we meet again when we almost just got here Beautiful. <laughs> Thanks very much. Um, oh, we've got some comments here. The Hyde Park Barrack song. Yes. It'll be a bit muddy today, actually. But yes, there's a, I recommend reading into convict history. There's a lot to take in there. Um, I probably should say that um, Blue Malie has only been going for about a year and a half. Um, I started a band, apart from the band I started with for him, I also started another band at the same time called New River back in 07, which then got renamed, which I can't remember why, to Master Tiger. Um, and we've released three CDs. Um, they're, the last, the they're the last two. So if anyone wants to look up some more songs um, in, you know, me and band format, um, we had a really talented cello player and singer called Joe. And also, um, gee, we had all sorts of people. We had a violinist called Lucia. Um, we had a pianist and guitarist and bassist called Craig. We had a banjo player called Dan. Um, we had all sorts of people. So it's pretty good to check out. The latest EP just got dropped about, a, about three weeks ago called Reflections and the full-length album, So Long Voyager, with the pretty bird on the cover. Um, that came out a few years um, prior to that. So... Feel free to on check that Spotify, out. On Spotify, on yeah. iTunes, and we finally put it on Spotify. World. So if anyone that doesn't like CDs, um, you can look up Master Tiger on Spotify or iTunes or Deezer or whatever they're called, um, and it should be up there. Mm. Um, if you want a physical copy, um, <laughs> give us a shout out. I'll let you know as well if you're old school like me. <laughs> so I'm going to introduce my instrument now which is a beautiful bow run. And I had one lesson before COVID-19 shut everyone down. So I'm not professing to be a professional, but I do think it's really important to give things a go and not to be afraid of doing that. Absolutely. So um, it's an Irish drum and we have an Irish story to go with it actually. 
Uh, I think I'm going back to rock with territory. One of my mm. favourite sort of international um, artists that is actually my f- dad's favourite artist, Christy Moore. Um, we saw um, it was the last concert that um, that we saw before COVID um, back at January this year. We travelled overseas and. The guy's 75, so he was never going to come back to Australia. I missed my chance. So, and he happened to be playing at Vicar Street in Dublin. So How we went. He happened yep, to be in Dublin. Beeline for that. Mm-hmm. Um, so we saw him. It was awesome. Um, and this is a cover of one of his most famous famous songs called "Ride On." And yeah, Nicky on the Bodrum for the first time ever. First time ever. So after one lesson. Exactly. I hope Sam's watching this. Sam likes. Sam. Yes. And Rosie. Right, right on, right on. ever seen stand in 16 one or two but my eyes wild and green you ride the horse so well hands light to the touch I can never go with you no matter how I wanted to ride on see you I can never go with you no matter how I wanted to Ride on, see you I can never go with you no matter how I wanted to When you ride into the night without a trace behind You're on your claw alone, I guess one last time I turn to face an empty space Where you used to lie I look for a spark The lights tonight Through a teardrop in my eye Right on See you I can never go with you No matter how I want it to Right on I can never go with you no matter how I want to Right on, see you I can never go with you no matter how I want to Right on, see you I can never go with you no matter how song for you. Is that right? Yes, there is only one more song. And am I finishing oh, this? Oh, it went so quickly. Yeah. 
I feel like I'm I want more. You're having fun. Oh yeah, one more thing. So we've got all the, like these little Easter eggs. So the camera is not because well, I think you used to work in the Photoshop, but I did. Um, my dad was a great photographer as well, and it's an Olympus trip, which is for tripping. For tripping around, but. Um, yeah, so if, I don't know if anyone's keen, but if they want to do a screenshot of them listening in, I should have actually done this at the beginning of the stream, um, feel free to take one and share it with me and I can whack it up on social media if you like. If not, that's completely mm. cool. Um, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, I'm going to leave you to it now. Yeah, so I just wanted to sort of thank everyone at Alive Productions for putting this on. Thomas, Alex, Paul, and... Of course, Derek. Derek, the guy <laughs> holding all the strings. Um, thanks very much, everyone. And, um, yeah, if you want to follow me on social media, it's I'm on Facebook, Instagram. Um, this will be put up on YouTube um, after the stream. Um, at, and it's at Blue Mallee Music. Please. Oh, there's the poster. Um, yeah, that's right. At Blue Mallee Music. Right. Um, but thanks very much, everyone, for listening in. Um, this song is called Hearts in June. I wrote this. This is one of the very first songs I ever wrote. Um, Jesus. Um, it was probably when I was like 17 or 18. So, um, And it was never really good enough to play, so I've never played it. And then last week, of course, Lockdown Muse, um, I sort of put a few other sort of parts together, came up with a new kind of guitar melody. And, yeah, this song's, you know, in this current format, um, is only not even two weeks old, but I thought I'd just take a take a um, a risk and give it a go. Um, I think it could be a pretty cool song. Um, yeah, um, thanks for everyone for streaming in, and yeah, I'll see you around. Um, take care of of yourself and stay safe. Kissed her Where's the moon turned in view Twice for our love And three times for hearts in June And this great love, you know It can never end But like a shot through the heart This love trickles out Trying to sail towards that raging sea To most what seemed impossible Brought us sublime belief Now our raft is slowly sinking On the stock and is heading west.
of that westerly wind calling out to our nerves to take no fear and our legs snap on like curling twigs from our favorite tree like an old folk song we glide out to sea Left me far behind Back when the leaves were still on our tree You left me far behind And took my heart off its sleeve And stowed it beneath your bed With all those warm fire kisses Take my hand, let's talk about it. Our first game. Shared as two hearts, hearts in June. And these days, these trains are dreamt all over. these days leave us a song to sing and our raft is now slowly sinking on this dark for our love and three times for hearts in June See you later guys have a good week and thanks for tuning in everyone see you later